So good morning, everybody. So today we are looking at the, the module one and the first lectures after the introduction. So I encourage you to have a look on the introduction material where you can find other information on the blue economy and an overview of the blue economy and also an overview of the uh, toolkit. So that, that's important. So don't, don't miss this. Um, so today we are looking at the, the blue economy concept and some applications. We, so during the lectures, we will go quite quickly to the, the blue economy itself. So a few messages and we will also provide you, I will also provide you some further reading on material that are quite uh, interesting. They are not so long to look at, but they are very interesting because some of them are very practical. So the blue economy, so what, what it is. So if you look at this um, figure on, on, the, on the side of the, the, the screen, you, you will see that it's almost everything together. Yeah? Okay, so that, that's something that is um, interesting is to, to realize that is in, in uh, some interaction or some uh, imbrication of different things at different levels. But uh, the more fundamental thing is to, to realize that the pillars is the social sustainability, the environmental sustainability, and the economic sustainability. And around this, you have many things, you know, uh, but this is the key thing. So uh, in a short, um, in a few words, this is definitely linked to the sustainability concept. Okay, nothing else. So, uh, and it emerged quite significantly in the uh, in the beginning of the 2010. And uh, I think the uh, push by the the small islands, uh, especially for the Samoa Conference in 2014, so they push a lot in order to have the blue economy as a key concept. Okay, if you remember in 2020, in 2002 during the Johannesburg uh, summit for the sustainable development, everybody was only talking on green economy. So blue economy is something emerging from the 2010 uh, decade. So it takes into account uh, some economic sectors, uh, of course, fishing, aquaculture, mariculture, tourism, marine transportation, trans river transport, uh, and all some uh, emerging activities like the uh, uh, renewable energy, offshore, not so much also uh, oil and gas, but for many African countries, this is something new. Uh, we can talk about Mozambique, we can talk about uh, Comoros, Madagascar, all the West African countries, Mauritania, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, even Ivory Coast uh, that are developing this. A lot of emerging sectors as well, like the buying bi biotechnology and bioprospecting, which is uh, really, really under uh, prospecting at the moment, if we can say this. So this is the, the key economy uh, sectors at the moment. And, um, the, the other thing that are important is that it's not only about economics. Uh, this is what I mentioned in the introduction. It's also about taking into account the ecosystem services and their value in order to support or to have a strong roots for the blue economy. Um, so in terms of examples, so what we have so far is that we have a set of strategies that have been developed. Some are uh, implemented, fully implemented, like the Seychelles Blue uh, Economy Action Plan. So I mean, really, really leading, it's really leading the, the, the development of Seychelles at the moment. The other strategy at the regional level, like the um, uh, the e e IGAD or the IOC, which is not mentioned there, are under implementation. And the African Union one is really under implementation uh, since its adoption in February 2020. Um, in terms of uh, further reading, so I, I really encourage you to, to read this. Uh, there's a, there's a, a set of documents there, but really to have a look on the IUI bar. Uh, strategy, even if the IUIBA strategy is a very, uh, we can say, classical one or standard one in, in the way that the economic, it's focused quite a lot on the economic activities. If you want to have other um, 
of the way of developing the, the blue economy, you can have a look on the IGAD one, which is quite interesting because it puts the environment up front, or uh, the uh, IOC one as well, even the Seychelles one, uh, where the uh, environmental concern is really, you know, the driving forces of the blue economy implementation. So for this, I encourage you to read this and to enjoy the, this lecture. Thank you very much.